How do I say that? Uh, Alfium. Huh? No, no. Alethium. No. Alethium? 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 Okay, I mean, I really don't know how to pronounce this thing, but let's get to mining it. I'm going to show you how to mine it on HiveOS, and then also I'm going to show you how to schedule it so that it doesn't interfere with some of your other mining initiatives. So let's hop onto the computer and let's figure this out. You know what? Actually, before we hop into the computer and start mining this, let's take a look at what Alethium actually is. Now, I'm not going to actually talk about this. I'm just going to show you the website, mainly because I don't want the community to come after me because I don't know too much about this coin anyways. So let's take a look at the website right here. Yep. Seems very interesting. Um, UTXO, that kind of reminds me of ADA. Also, Bitcoin uses this model as well. They say sharding, okay. They have a virtual machine that's Ethereum-like, so there's obviously some dApps on here. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, that's it for that. Um, so let's just hop into mining this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the Lithium website and... Um, you're going to want to get a wallet. So what you can do is you can either do the desktop wallet or you can do the extension wallet. Um, I recommend desktop, but extension is a lot easier. Um, so I went along with the extension wallet on a, another computer. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so, uh, from here, um, I'm going to be using this rig here to basically, uh, switch from Dynex to Alethium, but there's a couple of things we need to do first. So first, obviously, once you have your wallet created, um, you want to get your, um, address and then you want to create a wallet here. So... You just add ALF there, you add your address here, you can name it. So I'm going to give it a name right here. And then once you're done with that, just make sure everything looks good. And then you're going to want to create. So you want to also just Double check and make sure that it actually created your wallet on the platform. And there it is. Once you have the wallet created, then you want to um, create your flight sheet. So you want to find the coin out. You want to also add um, the wallet that you created. So not this, but I'm going to have to refresh here. There we go. Add ALF again, and then there's the wallet that we created. Then I'm going to select the pool. Um, I kind of want to take a look at the pools and the current allocation of power, just so that we're not, you know, creating a 51% attack. So let's go ahead and take a look at lithium. So it looks like they have a lot here, so we're not going to use that one. Let's use, hmm, no, let's use possibly roly poly, woolly poly. I don't, yeah, I mean, yeah, probably that. I'll use this and find it here. Select your uh, server location, the best for you. I'm going to select US and click apply there. And then for minor, um, you can click anything here for the most part. Um, I think SRB minor is 
probably the best, but um, I might do a different miner. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'll probably do something different. Mainly because I might want to do some dual mining and I don't know. Let's just try this out. Then once you have this done, you want to also um, possibly give it a name. So we're going to name it something here. And then once you have all of that done, it's pretty straightforward. You just want to create that flight sheet. Double check to see that it's there. It is there for us. And now we want to get to the scheduling. So I have a couple schedules already here. I don't think I'm using any currently. But we want to add an event here. And actually, before we do that, um, to make things a little bit easy for us, we're going to go to the rig that we want to use. Um, and we're going to add some tags. So you see these tags here. That's what you're going to use to um, basically help identify um, the rig. So we're going to put ALF here as a tag. and add it to that particular rig. So now it has the ALF tag, it has a couple other tags as well. I'm gonna go back over here and you can see, you know, we have our Ethereum tag that we've used prior, Dynex tag that we use as well. So let's see if we can find that tag. Okay, we're gonna have to probably refresh again because we did a change. All right, so let's go ahead and add, add an event, find the tag, the ALF tag, so it'll be all rigs with that tag. Um, select the flight sheet that we created, so um, it will select that for the rig and apply that flight sheet. We could do a reboot. Um, reboots are probably good, but I think for this particular um, algorithm and coin, I don't think we necessarily need a reboot, um, but you can always add a reboot if you want to or not. So removing that and then you want to probably set your time zone. Um, I'm going to leave it as is for right now and probably change my time zone um, on a later date, but you want to change your time zone and then here I only want mine to run on certain days so I have it set like so and then I think I want to run it hmm, Thursdays and possibly Tuesdays yeah and then once you get here you pretty much have everything that you need done um, to get this working properly for you, um, you uh, want to also name it obviously and I'm just looking at the time zones here real quick just to see what they have because I haven't done a schedule in a while to be quite honest with you okay start date looks okay just doing some double checks here all of this looks good. Then you want to create that. And then you should be done for the most part. Now, you might want to add something in between as well. Like, I'm thinking about doing Dynex with this and maybe another coin as well. So, um, you might want to add another schedule so that it switches on the Wednesday. So you notice that I have this going on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So either you can use an existing event that you have if you already know how to do this or create another event and then do a very similar um, action where you are applying a certain uh, flight sheet that's different from 
the one, the lithium one, and um, basically uh, switching your coins back and forth on certain days. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. Do Dynex here. But we're going to choose the ALF um, tag. But we're going to select our Dynex flight sheet. And um, don't need any overclocking there. We already have it set to what we want. And now we're going to choose the days. And for the Dynex, I'm thinking Monday, Wednesday, Friday for this. And that way, um, yeah, it will start on those days for us. And we'll obviously name it. And there we go. And once you're done with that, obviously doing some quick checks, you know, you can always go back in and edit this and then just create that. And you notice how the toggle on the right is green. That means those are ready to go. They're turned on. So we're pretty much good to go um, with our lithium and um, it being scheduled. That's all you really have to do to um, mine the lithium and then also have it scheduled. If you were paying attention, you would notice that uh, these are not the same clothes. Uh, I forgot to record an ending. So here's your ending right here. Um, literally put an F in the chat for me. Uh, also, this video kind of sucked, in my opinion. I I've looked at other people who've done Alethium how-tos, and how-tos in general, when it comes to mining. Um, I stumbled all over the place. I don't even know. I didn't even test it to see if uh, the scheduling worked that I did, either. Um, but I make this content because, you know, I like crypto, and I have to make content because why the heck not? But I do recommend looking into other content creators when it comes to long form. Uh, I'm really going to be pushing my shorts because that's just something that I'm better at, uh, in my honest opinion. But anywho, I, I hope that you all enjoyed this uh, video. And as always, peace. Oh